So once you're in your system.io dashboard, you can go to the top. And if you hover over emails, you'll see it says newsletters, campaigns, and statistics. Now, let me quickly explain the difference between a newsletter and a campaign. A newsletter is a single email that you type up and you send to your subscribers. It's a once-off thing and you send it immediately, or you can add a delay to it. But the main thing is it's a single email. Campaigns are where you create multiple emails that are scheduled to go out at set intervals. That's the main difference between those two. So let me get started with showing you how to set up a campaign. So you click on campaigns and you just click on create. You would give your campaign a name. Don't worry about the description. You can add a description. I'm going to skip it for now. And now it's created your campaign for you. So if you click on the name of the campaign, now we can start creating emails. All right, so you just go to the top, click on create. And now we're going to start off with our email subject, whatever that may be. So I'm just going to copy and paste something I've got. And the sender name and the email address that you're going to be sending from. Once again, I've explained the connecting your domain and your professional email in a previous lesson called register your domain and your professional emails. So, and we're going to choose on your classic editor. Click on save. And it will open up your editor for you. All right. So in the body, which is right here, you can start typing your, your email, whatever that may be. So once again, I'm just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to just copy and paste something that I've got from another email and I'm going to paste it in here. Okay. So there I've written my email and there are a few things you can look out for. The one thing is I say, I F name. Okay. Now if you highlight that. Or well, let's assume it wasn't there. That's maybe there. So if you want to address your email to your subscriber personally by his name or her name, you can go to the substitute values over here, click on that and say first name, for instance, and it would add in that code for you that will automatically insert the subscriber's name into this position. So it says a hey, first name and I carry on. The end of 2018 brought it into the I life I was used to living and my email carries on. So you would just simply write your email and then where you want to add links, like what I've got here, for instance, I wanted to add a link in here. So you would just highlight the text where you want to add the link. And then at the top here, this little chain link, you would click on that. And this is where you would add your link, whether it's your affiliate link, whether it's a specific page you want to send to them to, whatever the case may be, you can just add the link in there that you want to send your reader to and click on the check mark to save that. Okay. And then the same in this instance, where I've got a second one, if I click on that or highlight that rather, and I click on link, then here you can see I've got a link added in there already, and I can just click the check mark to save it. Obviously, you're going to end off with your name or whatever your greeting may be. So that is how the first part of setting up your email. Once you've completed your email, you would go to the top here to say save and test. And you can send a test email to yourself. You could add an address in there that you want to send it to. And it will send a test email to the address you've added in here. You can just click on confirm. And we'll say a test email has been sent to that address. If you're happy with everything, once you've read through the email you've received, then you can go ahead and click on save and publish. Just keep in mind when they, it send, the system sends you a test email, it won't have your name in here. It will still say first name. But once it's published and it starts sending out, it will put your subscriber name into the body of the email. So you can click on save and publish. And now here you can decide when that email goes out. What?
So you can go here to the email will be sent after. And you can just then say, for instance, if, I, if this is your first email, you can select here zero days or zero minutes is the time delay before the email gets sent out. Okay, so I've said this is going to be my first email and I want this email to send out the minute somebody joins my list. So I should click on activate. And there it says changes saved. And I can exit. Now I can create a second email. Click on create. Once again, my subject line, which let's just grab anything I've got here, replace it in there, and send the name, send the email, classic editor, it's all good. Click on save. All right, now I can add my, my email. Let me just copy this, and I'm simply going to paste it in there. And there's my email again. This is, I chose a, a rather long one. But for instance, here again, if I just enter, I'm going to go line up. Now I can add again. I'm going to say first name, comma. If I told you that you could make six figures income by getting blah, 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 all the rest of it. So now I've created my second email. Okay. I do once again. Save and test it, send it out. Once I've received the test email and I've checked it, I'm happy with it. I could go to save and publish. Now this becomes an important part. If I click on save and publish now, okay. Now, if I go to will be sent after, now I can say either by a time, um, either leave it blank or I can say, I want to send it after the first email was sent out. Okay, so in other words, this becomes email number two. So I could click on that and I say, send this email after the first email was sent, but wait, for instance, one day. Okay, and I could click on activate. And that's how you can schedule the one email with a specific time delay to send the next one and the next one and the next one and the next one. So I can click. And now I've added my second email and I can click on exit. Okay. So now you can see there are two emails in my demo campaign and you can continue this process. You can add as many emails as you want into this campaign. And you can see here under delay, the first one had no delay. The second one had a one day delay. Now, if I add the third one, just so you can be clear on it. Let's grab another one and I can enter the body of my email there once again. And keep in mind, wherever you want to add a link, you can just highlight it, click at the top here to the chain link. And now I can add a link to that. And then afterwards, I click the check mark to save it, which I'm not going to do in this case. Okay. So once again, that's where you add your links to your emails. Then I should go. Save and test, send it. I prefer to do the save and test instead of just save and publish. So I can first receive the email, make sure that everything is fine. My link is there and, and it's, it's working. And then I come back and I say, save and publish. And now I can say, okay, send this one out after the second email that we created. And again, wait one day or two days or five days, whatever you decide and click on activate. Okay, it says changes saved. And if I exit now, now you'll see. Again, first one goes out straight away without any delay. Then one day later, this one goes out. Then one day after that, this next one goes out. Okay, so that's a very simple way of creating your email sequences to send out one email after the other, after the other. So now that we've done this, let me just show you what how it works with newsletters. Okay. As I said, a newsletter is an email you compose and you send out once off. No time delay or waiting for another email to first send out. So the creation process is exactly the same. We'll add in a subject line, send out. 
we always select the classic editor because it just looks more like a personal email that was written and not like a business email because people tend to easier delete business emails than personal emails. Now I'll click on save. And now I can click on the email and I can add the body to my email. Okay. And then if I say, now I can say save and test. So I receive that email first to check it. I can say save and send, which means as soon as I save it, the system will automatically send out the email. But I won't be able to save and schedule it. So I'm just going to save it and I'm going to demonstrate to you why it is. All right. So let me just exit out of here. And in the previous video, when I demonstrated the funnel to you, I said there's a last step we need to do to connect our email sequences to our funnel. All right. So I'm going to show you that right now. So if we go back to funnels and we select the demo funnel that I showed you earlier on. Now we need to go to automation rules. Yeah. Uh, under automation rules, we need to create a rule or add a rule. Okay. So this rule is going to be funnel strip form subscribed. In other words, what happens when somebody subscribes to your funnel, when somebody adds their name and the email address. So we're going to select that. Okay. And now we're going to say, click on the three dots on the side here, and we're going to say edit automation rule. Okay. And we're going to add an action. Okay. So the first thing we want to do is we need to tag people because that's how the system works. We give people certain tags so that certain emails would be sent to people with that specific tag. So we can first select add a tag and in here you can. You can either select a tag if you've, if you've already got tags or you can create a tag here. So let's just say this is going to be the tag. I'm going to use my quantum leap challenge for instance, and I can click on create the tag. All right. So when somebody subscribes on my page, they're going to be tagged with this tag. Now I want to say, add another action. Okay. And this time we're going to say subscribe to campaign. Okay. And now we have to choose our campaign and that's our demo campaign that we just created previously. All right. And we can go and say save rule. So as soon as people have landed on your landing page, they've entered their name and the email address, and they are now subscribed to your subscriber list. They given the tag, which in this case was my quantum leap challenge or MQLC, and then they are automatically subscribed to the campaign that we just created. So now if we click on our newsletter that we started with, now we must tell the system to which of our subscribers must this email be sent. You know, there can be a thousand people in your list, but you only want a certain portion of those people to receive this email. And we do that through the tags that we just created previously. So we can just click the down arrow here, select the tag, click, check the check mark, and there it's added the tag now. So now it will send out this email to this group of people of our, amongst our subscribers with this specific tag. Now we can go to the top and say save and publish. And here we can select a date and even a time that we want to send out the email. Or if we don't want to do that, we can just check, click the out of there. And we can just say save and send, and it would immediately send our email. Okay. And it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to send this new newsletter now? You can just click on confirm and it will say newsletter sent successfully. So now I can click on exit and you can see it's been, it was sent on this date and this time. So it's sent it immediately. And that's the main difference between a campaign and a newsletter. Okay. So now we've completed the whole process. We've now set up your funnel. We've set up your email campaigns and everything will now be automated in the future. As subscribers come in, they will automatically receive the tag and be entered into your email campaign. 
and start receiving your emails. And with that, we've now set up your system completely. You've registered your domain and your professional email. You've connected that with system.io. You've set up your sales funnel. You've set up your email autoresponder or your email campaigns. And with that, your whole system is set up. That concludes the setup of your system. So congratulations. Well, that's the end of day two for you. And you can go ahead and start with the training of day three.